Dakar second marathon stage kicks off with 280 kilometers between Belen and Chilecito. There's a different route though for the bikes and quads who'll spend the night, assistance free, in a separate bivouac in Fiambala. Another stage departure with a difference today. The top 25 finishers from yesterday, 10 cars, 10 bikes and 5 trucks setting off in a mixed start at 3 minute intervals. As in 2016, the organisers looking to add a little spice. With a lead of almost 40 minutes heading into this stage, Matthias Vorkner's on course to become the second Austrian to win the Dakar after Peter Reif in the trucks in 1997. But things aren't going so well for Pablo Quintanilla. The two-time cross-country rallies world champion losing time due to a malfunctioning fuel pump. Another 33 minutes dropped today. The Chileans nearly two hours back in eighth place overall. Lea Sanz lost 36 minutes yesterday after a crash and lightning struck twice on this stage. Another 44 minutes gone for the Spaniard, but she actually moved up to 13th overall. The end of the line, though, for Joan Pereira. In spite of his three stage wins, the Spaniard threw in the towel due to the knee injury that he suffered on stage seven. Maybe a little bit too, too fast. Yeah. Walkner taking it fairly easy out in front. The Austrian even sharing the navigation with Mr. Dakar himself at Stefan Petterhansel. He was happy to settle for fifth place, 11 minutes off the pace. At one moment I, I pass him and I try to go in front because with the bike shoe is much more easy in the dunes. But then in a fast piece he, he passed me back and then I say okay, looks like really tricky navigation also, so go the safety line, just follow him and then arrive safe to the finish. Today's outing dominated by those who lost a lot of time yesterday. Two-time stage winner Antoine Mayo in third for KTM. Honda's Kevin Benavidez second. The Argentine cutting the gap to Walkner to 32 minutes. And the stage win went to Toby Price, his first of 2018 and eighth overall. The 2016 champion is nearly 40 minutes back in third place. Yeah, kind of had to push a bit today and just claw a little bit back and it's cool to get a stage win, which is, uh, yeah, I hadn't done this year so far. So Price taking the win by a minute and 38 seconds from Benavides with Mayo, Ricky Brabeck and Walkner making up the top five. In the standings, Walkner leads Benavides by 32 minutes exactly. Price, Gerard Fares and Mayo all within an hour. And now the blank canvas of the Catamarca Desert stretches out for the cars. Mikko Hirvonen was very fast in the early part of the stage on a mission in his new two-wheel drive mini buggy, but that is the aftermath of a big roll. Mikko working hard to get it going again, but that's not going to buff out easily. The big news for Carlos Sainz is the 10-minute penalty for an alleged quad collision has been rescinded, so the Spaniard's lead is back to over an hour over teammate Peter Hansel. With a lot of ground to make up after breaking his suspension yesterday, Alatia is very at home in these conditions. He comes in a minute behind the Peugeots. Transitioning over these incredible white dunes, Peter Hansel is working on consolidating his second position ahead of NASA. The legend still has such an affinity with the bikes after so many Dakars on two wheels. It's a pleasure to see him working here alongside bikes leader Matthias Walkner on this special group start. We overtook each other several times. For once, we're driving with the best bikers in the world and it's really good fun. But the desert sun shone today on Bernhard Tenbrinker, who took the stage win, the sixth different stage winner of Dakar 2018. Co-driver Michel Perrin is no stranger to Dakar stage wins, but it's a new experience for Bernhard. Yeah, it feels really good, it feels really good. Today, uh, Michel did a really, really great job uh, to catch all directly the waypoints. Uh, I make no mistakes. He will like the look of that timesheet, the Dutchman absolutely dominating the first half of the marathon stage ahead of the amassed Peugeots. And Carlos Sainz's lead is back to over an hour thanks to the re-gifting of those penalised 10 minutes. The real fight now is for the third step of the podium.